Today, we are going to learn about algorithmic analysis. To understand this topic, let's suppose we have two programs, okay? And both programs are able to solve the same problem. Then it is important to know which program is better so that we can select an most optimized program to work with. Let's clarify something before proceeding further. Program is different from algorithms. As we have already seen that algorithm is a step by step list of instruction for solving problems. While the program is just an implementation of the algorithm in some programming language. Now, we know that one algorithm is implemented in many ways using the programming language, okay? So we can write the same program in many different ways. Uh, let's take an example to understand clearly. Suppose we have to find a sum of n natural number, okay? So, Let's open an ID and let's just write a function which will calculate a sum of n natural number, okay? So let's open the ID. Okay. So I am defining a function, define sum underscore natural and it is taking n as a parameter now i am defining here a one variable which i am initializing as a zero sum underscore one is equal to zero now we have to iterate right so for i in range one to n plus one and here i am doing this sum underscore two is equal to i and uh, sum underscore 1 is equal to sum underscore 1 plus sum underscore 2 and here at the last after it after uh, iteration of the for loop is completed then i will return sum underscore 1 okay and now let's call this function with sum underscore natural. Uh, uh, let's say 4. We have to find up to 4. Okay. Now. Okay. It is giving our result 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Okay. Of sum of all this. Now let's... Uh, write the same program in a more, more optimized way so define some underscore natural and it is taking a, a num as a parameter uh, some underscore one is equal to zero for i in range one comma num plus one okay and uh, sum underscore one plus is equal to i and lastly for after completing for loop we are returning sum underscore one okay great now let's call this function sum underscore natural with four okay so let's execute uh, uh, this function uh, this uh, program also so there is one program one and program two and here we are able to see the both the program is giving us a same result okay now so both the program is solving a uh, same problem but it is looking completely different right so if we see first program we got confused that is the 
this function is calculating the sum of two number or something else it is doing uh, because sum underscore one is equal to sum underscore one plus sum underscore two is something is there right because uh, we have not written the code in a good way so readability is drastically reduced here but the second program this one at a first glance we are able to understand that okay it is finding the sum of an natural number okay the question we are discussing about which one of the two program is better basically it depends on the criteria if we are seeing on the basis of readability then the second program is better but on the basis of some measures like time and space both are the same because both will take a same time and both will take the same space okay but in this course mostly we are concerned with the time and space not readability or a way to write a program okay basically algorithm analysis is concerned with comparing algorithms based upon the number of computing resources that each algorithm uses okay so we want to find some way so that we can take two algorithm say algorithm one and algorithm two which is solving a problem one okay a particular problem and we have to compare like which is better algorithm one is better or algorithm two is better so let's take some objective to measure to fulfill our need let's say we already have seen that the let's say uh, we will compare algorithm on the basis of number of statement executed by the program do you think it is a good measure to compare any two algorithm uh, i don't think so because the number of statement varies with the programming language as well as the style of the individual programmer as you see also here that the program one and program two which is basically finding a sum of natural number but program one is taking uh, more lines than program two okay so it is not a good measure to like only count uh, number of instructions in a program to compare any two algorithm so what we can do so let's take a execution time as a second measure to a compare two algorithms execution time is nothing but the time required to execute the program this measure is also sometimes referred to as the running time of algorithm let's try to visualize this measure in python there is a time module let's use this time module to find the actual time taken by the sum of n natural number programs so let's import time okay here and just uh, put uh, start is equal to time dot time here and and in the last end is equal to after completing for loop is equal to time dot time and here we are returning the sum comma end minus start okay and actually let's do for the other program also the program to is time dot time and is equal to time dot time okay here also we are returning uh, let's run both the program okay as you see the number of statement actually you can here visualize the number of statement uh, 
basically uh, does not uh, compare any two program or ten any two algorithm because here the number of statement is more but even the speed is comparable okay it's almost same now so first uh, already we have discarded but here uh, we are uh, like trying to find out that ex execution time we can take or not as a measure for comparing any two algorithm so here this function i have run on my computer okay so time taken to execute this program on my computer is this much now let's run this same program in online some id okay online id let's see there how much time it is showing So it is showing very less than my local computer. So now think. So now I think you got a clear understanding why we are not able to take execution time as a good measure to compare two algorithms. Since times are specific to a particular computer. Okay. So before we will understand a better approach to compare two algorithm which are independent of computers as well as a uh, programming language because execution time also depend on the programming language which we are using. So we have to find uh, some measure which uh, will independent of all these like a computer or a programming language or a... so we have to find a way so before uh, we will understand a better approach a better measure uh, let's uh, do more experimentation with this execution speed okay so we are fixing a particular computer okay and we are fixing a particular uh, programming language so then I think uh, we can uh, take a right now an execution time as a measure okay for uh, this experimentation so let's uh, try to do summation of first n natural number using this formula n into n plus 1 by 2 so let's write a function define sum of n start is equal to time dot time and here we are finding some using this formula only okay and int is equal to time dot time here we are returning uh, time as well as sum okay now let's run the program one like uh, using a for loop on different inputs of different sizes as well as this one using the formula on different input on different sizes okay As you can see, using the only formula, the input time is almost constant. The output, the output time is almost constant. Uh, but in the for loop program, the, uh, the input size increases as the the output uh, the at the time increases as the uh, uh, input size is increasing like uh, yeah as you can see here like uh, the input size is increasing every 10 times and output uh, that uh, time is also increasing so here you can see that uh, 
so here so if we fix the computer to analyze the algorithm then we can choose a better algorithm for a particular problem on the basis of execution time and here we can see that the second way of solving a problem of finding the sum of n natural number is faster than uh, this for loop approach but as we have seen previously on different system on different computer we are not able to rely on execution time right as a measure since for the same algorithm there will be a different execution time in different machines and also execution time is also depending on the programming language so we need a better way to compare the algorithm we would like to have a measure which is independent of the computer and programming language this measure then will be useful for judging the algorithm alone and could be used to compare algorithm across different platforms okay so i hope you got an understanding of why we have to compare two algorithms because we have to choose a better algorithm to solve a particular problem i hope you also are able to understand what is the difference between program and algorithm and in algorithm analysis what we are trying to achieve what are our objective okay so in the next lecture we are going to see a very good measure which is independent of uh, uh, that computer and programming no language and all and it is able to uh, compare two algorithm in a much more better way so from next lecture we will start learning that thank you i hope you are all able to understand this lecture Thank you thank you very much